I'm currently in Montreux, a gorgeous and historic town located on Lake Geneva in Switzerland. And tragically, I didn't come here during the best time. Usually there's a beautiful landscape behind me with mountains and sun. Not currently though. And I've brought you here with me today to visit somebody who, in my opinion, is one of, if not the best guitar builder in all of Europe. You might have seen Patrick's work featured on this channel before, but today we're here to go in depth on him, his work, and this beautiful, well, usually very beautiful part of Switzerland. Hi, my name is Patrick Hufschmid and I build electric guitars and guitar plectrums. I live in Aigle next to Montreux and um, I grew up in this region in the French-speaking part of Switzerland. So I grew up in a musical family. My, my mother is a renowned Obo de Mori player and she's now retired. And uh, I grew up in, uh, surrounded by classical and Baroque music basically. And because she was from Liverpool, I grew up listening to the Beatles. So I was already heavily into, into rock music when I was a small kid. So I was surrounded with you know, music all the time. So I started playing guitar in 1987. I was um, 11 years old. We found a classical guitar that was left in, in the bin uh, somewhere in the street. And uh, we took it back and tried to restore it a bit. And that was my first grips on the guitar. Uh, my real passion for the guitar was my first encounter with a electric guitar when I was in a music shop. And I started then to take courses to learn how to play the electric guitar. Um, at one point, uh, I started to enjoy the old Metallica music, so I started to want to learn on my own the, you know, the, the good riffs and stuff like that. And um, that's how I started my, my journey into the love of the electric guitar. I was heavily inspired by the work of uh, Bob Benedetto uh, back in the days when I started my apprenticeship in 1996. Um, I went abroad to the Red Wing uh, Technical College in Minnesota, uh, America, to study my craft. That was the very early stage of it, and uh, we had to study this book, The Art Shop Guitar Building by Bob Benedetto. Uh, I do not build art shop guitars, but I was heavily inspired by, uh, like as a designer, of the lines uh, and his design, which is incredible to me. My current inspiration is more about uh, science and history. I really like those two subjects, which are extremely vast, and this inspires me on a daily basis to either rename uh, you know, the models of my plectrums of my guitars and stuff like that. And also it opens my eyes to uh, new ways of thinking or so, because I always study and learn new stuff every day. It's an ongoing path. Patrick only ever builds one guitar at a time, and his latest build is a variation of his flagship model, the Tantalum. And this incredible seven string has some features so unique that they are best explained by the man himself. 
So this guitar has some unique features on it. The first one is the Rich Light top. Rich Light is a eco-friendly, responsible material. It's been created using very thin pieces of recycled paper, which are blended into phenolic resin and under high pressure. And this material has extreme stability and is very nice to work with. And this guitar features a beautifully engraved, very deeply honeycomb pattern on it. So it also acts like a weight relief in some ways because Rich Light is very heavy and dense. Uh, the pickups, I have my, my flagship model Tantalum engraved on it. That's just to indicate that it's my flagship model. Over here you have uh, the nut. Uh, this is the very first Peak, P-E-E-K nut, which is a high-grade thermoplastic which is used uh, in operations as a biocompatible material. I discovered it one day was working with uh, engineer engineering thermoplastics and I just realized that it, was, it had an incredible uh, resonance and it's also uh, indestructible. So this nut will last forever, basically. You also have uh, the side inlays, which are various sheets of glow-in-the-dark material which have been grinded down and everything is then blent like a candeloscope design inside some bubble-free resin. And I use those sheets that I cut and I inlay in the fingerboard. So it's a pretty tasky job, but uh, the result, as you can see, is really unique, including a stage grip, which is a reference to the guitar that inspired my journey as a guitar builder, which was the Ivanus Gem. Uh, this is the second guitar which I built with a stage grip. And of course, I've got to let you hear what this masterpiece of Luthery sounds like too. So my building process, um, I have two guitar models that I'm offering. The first one is my flagship model where I offer different options like, uh, like a decorative top, different scale lengths, um, etc. Custom finishes, you know. I always use the same base uh, for the body and the neck, which are, have become my signature timbers, if you like, which are Sipo and Sepeli uh, Mahogany, which are the two timbers I use for the neck and the body on my guitars. That's uh, the result of many, many years of trying to figure out which timber was the most suited for my style of guitar building, and uh, that's the one I use now. And then, of course, on top of that, I can add a, like a decorative top, like a highly flamed quilt maple top. I tend to use rich light now. Uh, I really like that kind of material a lot. That's basically how I work around my flagship guitars. Then I have my other model, which is the Hale Duncan model, which is a set to specifications guitar which means I already set the specs on it, like the scale length. There is no top, uh, so it's just a single piece of mahogany, uh, sapelli or sipo for the neck and the body. And of course, on both models, I offer many different headstock, uh, many different shapes for the body, but I stick to the traditional sense of it. Patrick's passion for his craft becomes especially apparent when you receive an order and see how much work goes even into the smallest details, like how the packaging is sealed or how each certificate of authenticity is dated by hand. And Hufschmidt Guitars is not a company, it's a one-man operation dedicated to bringing the art of traditional luthery to those who still appreciate and can afford it. And in a time where mass-produced and affordable guitars are becoming more and more of a thing, and admittedly also very good, it's still important not to lose appreciation for artisanal and traditional craftsmanship and artistry, which is getting rarer to find, but it's precisely what makes vintage guitars so sought after nowadays. I also built guitar plectrums since 2009, 
which look very thick and there's a very purposely intended idea behind it is to help musicians which suffer from uh, muscular jointery pain when you actually grip something which is thicker and use it to play the guitar you begin to realize that you all of a sudden have more strength when you play which means for somebody who's suffering he will have less efforts to produce when he's playing the guitar and as a result he will have less suffering with less pain so that's the entire idea of my plectrum design work and it has helped uh, many guitar players so i'm really proud of that My logo is more than just uh, a symbol. It's a multifaceted representation of who I am and what I stand for. The smooth flowing lines signify the fluidity, precision and harmony I strive for in every instrument I craft. How I see the future of guitar building, I have an intimate conviction that uh, the future is going to be more and more uh, artisanal. That's how I see things. I mean, uh, artisans have been around for centuries uh, and they've done things by hand. And, you know, just in a few years, you've seen the arise of CNC machines, which are fantastic machines. But I take crowd in doing things by hand using small hand guided power tools. And to me, there's a lot of value inside that because I have to work on my skills on a daily basis to do that. And also every guitar I produce uh, with my two hands will never be the same. The outcome will always be different. And that's what makes the value of a handmade guitar. It's always unique. My work is driven by passion, not profit, and with 28 years of experience, my craft is a lifelong dedication, but not a mass-produced commodity.